This spring, the Byron School District faced last-minute budget cuts after some miscalculations. The district quickly cut $1 million worth of reductions in staff and programs, but it is now projecting it may need to make more cuts for future budgets. Tonight, KTTC's Olivia Prodzinski has more on how the district plans to reach financial stability. Following the voluntary departure of a financial director, Byron Public Schools noticed miscalculations in the budget, resulting in shortfalls. When the other one had left, the new one came in, started asking some questions, starting to see where things are at. The district had little time to make up for the shortfall and reduced roughly $1 million in staff and programs. However, Superintendent Dr. Mike Newbeck says they have another $2 million to go in order to balance the 2025-26 school year budget. It's just going to be as we go, we're going to try to tighten up our spending and so forth. The district waiting on enrollment numbers and audits before making any more cuts. We are trying to work our way back up to our 8% fund balance. Um, we'll be at 3% probably at the end of this year. Now district leaders are crafting a plan to make sure that the Byron Bears don't see another shortfall. Um, they will be deciding this coming Monday during their board meeting if they will, one, want, want to go out for an operating levy, um, operating referendum this November, and then two, for how much per pupil will they want to go out for. Dubeck says this would be the first time an operating levy would be added to a Byron ballot, but he says the community has a strong history of passing other referendum measures for the school district. Reporting in Byron, Olivia Pronzinski, KTC News. That said, the price tag of a potential referendum will be discussed at Monday evening's school board meeting.